what we're going to do is add about two teaspoons full of this to our um, distilled water mixture, cover the plates from our hydrogen generator, and then we're going to introduce 12 volts on top here. All right. We'll see what kind of amperage it pulls, and it should crack the water, as it's known as cracking water, and uh, produce uh, two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen. And that we're going to feed into our engine at a hundred thousand miles a gallon. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what happens. So, Let's see how this goes. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but you certainly can see it. That is hydrogen gas. And to be sure that we've got hydrogen gas coming out of there. We can actually test it. What happens is the bubbler acts like a spark arrester. And that way, if we ever had a flashback from the engine, we would stop here at this bottle. wouldn't go to our generator, where there would be a big problem. So, um, bring it in and hook it up to the car. Let me show you. I made this little thing here. This is going to hold the jars, and it fits just perfectly off to the side bay there of the engine. And uh, it's only drawing down about six, six and a quarter amps. So this is staying relatively cool. And uh, yeah, not even warm. After about 50 miles of driving, though, I'm sure it'll heat up pretty good. So we'll check it out then and see how it does. All right, let's go put it in the car. Well, there you sit. Got it hooked up in the engine bay. And I'm just going to cut the plug into the top of the uh, air filter here. And then, once we do this, we should be ready to roll here. So we got it going from our generator into our bubbler and right into our air intake of the, uh, of the engine. Again, only 40 horsepower engine. This thing has no oxygen sensors to fool, so it should be a breeze. Anyway, we'll see how it works out. Now, because this is an older engine, this is a six volt system. I don't think Volkswagen up until 65 ran everything in six volts. Well, because this is a 12 volt system where I want to generate as much HH as I can, um, I had to put my own 12 volt battery up front. And I've got a solar charger for that on the roof, but that's a whole other story. But anyway, we're going to run 12 volt back to here. I'll show you that setup inside. 